in um, with some other really cool ideas. Now, the next one is your Xart Solar Rain Gauge Hand Painted Garden Stake. And um, if you've, and, and, this, and these are really beautiful. You're seeing them there on the screen at night. And that's where the solar comes in. We've got them for you in the butterfly, the dragonfly, or the bird. And these are $16.17 when they used to be about $10 more. So I love that we have them for you now. Just reduced. The flex pays $5 and change. Tracy Kane is joining us. Hello. Hi there. I love that we're talking outdoor ideas. Yes. You saw I was so excited. Like, oh, I never thought about that. This is something I hadn't thought about either. A rain gauge. I know. And these are so great for multiple reasons. First of all, if you have little ones. Yes. So fun, right? Because yes. it's like a little science experiment with them. But these are wonderful. So here in Florida, we get a lot of rain. A lot of times at night, we have no idea. Yeah, we water too much with our sprinklers. Mm -hmm. We're overwatering. Our lawn is dying because we think <laughs> we're not watering enough, right? right? Well, this way you get to measure that and you see that. So you have three options in these. You're looking at the dragonfly here. It also comes in the cardinal and also in the butterfly. And they light up at night too. So you have a nice solar panel in the back mm -hmm. and then at night, you have little lights that light up your little critters. I love it. And so then cute. as it, when it rains and these, co this collects the rain. Yes. So you can see, wow, it rained an inch or wow, I got hardly got any, you know? Right. So this, this is really cool. Isn't that fun? So yeah. these are glass and then your stakes are all metal. They stand up to about three feet tall and just like a nice substantial piece, something different, something unique. Again, no maintenance. This is by Xheart, mm -hmm. so everything is hand painted. You have lots of little depth, you know, and all the colors, the yeah. painting, and they're UV protected, so they're gonna hold up nicely with the yes. sun. Oh, these are beautiful. And they look good throughout yeah. your your yard and your garden. And I love the idea of having these, particularly in an area, maybe it's a certain area where you have um, particularly delicate flowers and they need a certain amount of water right and you don't want to overdo it because what i didn't know and i have since learned is overwatering is just as bad as underwatering. right yeah it is a lot of times when those leaves turn yellow it's because you're watering too much yes and i'm saying that i'm not a great green thumb person <laughs> so that is real basic knowledge <laughs> <laughs> that we just we, we just learned <laughs> but, but this helps you it does so it's not only like pretty but it's serving a purpose right right yes and so as you're seeing there, you're gonna decide, do I want the butterfly or do I want the dragonfly or the bird? They're all really beautiful. And I love that there's so much thought and care that's gone into the design of something that is functional. Like you can see, there's the water that it captured. So you can see over the night, over two nights or what have you, maybe right. you've been gone for the weekend and you come back and you're like, I don't know where to start. Right. This just lets you know what happened while you were away. Right, <laughs> yes, for sure. Right, and it's beautiful, it stands tall so when you have this mixed in with all of your shrubberies and your flowers you're still going to see this floating and the little lights at night i love a piece that lights up at night but looks beautiful in the day serving yes. multiple purposes yeah. and then you're getting that glass gauge in the middle that's measuring you know, all of your rain by inches and it actually goes down i think to eighths so oh, you can wow. really get a nice reading in there right. and fun to share this with kids if you're a <gasps> grandmother a grandfather oh, yeah. you know a mom dad but talking about the weather, talking about how important rain is for, yeah. right? right, all the, the flowers and the grass. So yeah. teaching a little science lesson at the same time. At the same time that yeah. it's beautifying your space. I know a lot of you are loving the dragonfly and the bird, but we also have the butterfly. Don't forget about that one. Yep. We also have a great price on these because it might be the kind of thing where you've been you know, wanting to add or seeing the uh, the way that this would benefit your area, your lawn and your garden, but you just haven't found one that you were particularly excited about picking up, now you have because they're beautiful. I love that they're so beautifully made. Like you said, they're about three feet tall. So you don't need to bend down all the way to the ground to, you know, to check them right. because you can clearly see what's going on with these. And at $10 off of our regular HSN price and the flex pay of $5 and change, why not have something that's going to be beautiful in the day but also and night because right. of that solar. Look how cute that is. Yeah, but also shows you what, what's going on. Right, definitely. So really easy. You get these home. I mean, you're just going to put your little stake together and, 
you know, stick it in the ground, figure out a nice little spot for it. You want to have it out in the yard, not necessarily mm -hmm. under an overhang because you want to make sure that it's clear for the rain to get in there. So yes. they're thoroughly measuring your water intake mm -hmm. and it has that solar panel on the back. So this is what is going to charge up so that you have those beautiful little twinkle lights at night, making you, you know, have that little extra pop in your garden. I love these little extra pieces because I I'm not a great gardener. I, you know, <laughs> I'll plant and I'm yes. terrible at watering. Yes. I'm terrible at taking all the, the buds off, right? right? The little right. deadhead. So these take no minutes at all. Yes. And I, I, and I love gardens. I love to see yes. beautiful gardens. And I appreciate how much work goes into that. And really, gardening can really kind of be somewhat of a science. You know, we kind of talk about it like a hobby. But you have to really know what the soil is like, how much water it's yes. getting, what it needs, especially certain plants that you may have, or especially if you're growing, um, you know, edib edible, you know, flowers or, or I shouldn't say flowers, but vegetables and those kinds of things. You want to make sure you're getting the right amount of water and when it rains, because the weather forecaster will say, oh, we got an inch of rain. Okay, we got an inch of rain, but how much did my yard actually right. get? Could be very different. So this helps you out. And like you were saying, it can go down all the way to an eighth? Yes. So you wow. really know how much rain you're getting, how much water you're getting. You know, a lot of times when you have people come and fertilize your lawn and they're mm. saying, oh, well, you know what, you're watering too much. And you're like, how am I watering too much in the middle right. of the summer? Right. But you are. So this way you know how much water you're getting, how much you should be putting your sprinklers on at nighttime. Right. right or throughout the day. Yeah. But, you know, especially here, it rains at night pretty frequently, mm -hmm. right? So we don't have any idea that we had any rain right. at all. Or if you're watching, we're like, oh, we think it's 30% chance of rain. No, yeah. it's 30% coverage. Right. Right. Covered. So, right. So, the, so about 30% of the people in that area will get rain, but right. it doesn't mean you're going to get rain. And so you, now you have a way to collect that, to know it, and to plant accordingly. Can right. I say that? Yes, <laughs> I love that. I love it. So three options. You have your cardinal in the red. You have your butterfly that like purpley hues there mm -hmm. and then also your dragonfly which is really cute um, I'll tell you, uh, we have only in the 300s now of what we have left in dragonfly. So that's it. That dragonfly is likely going to be the first one to go, and then the bird, and then the butterfly. Enjoy that at 783554. That's the number to get your rain collector home. And they're so beautiful. So have fun with those and enjoy. Okay, we've got to talk about the solar gnome. Okay, gnomes are a must in the garden. I they know. just are. So I don't know. Cute. I don't know 